Hey everybody, it's LP Weaver, and today we'll be doing Dr. Giro or Android 20, pick your poison. Thankfully, it has a pretty short storyline with only, or galaxy mode, to the boss with only four missions. So, yeah, this should be pretty quick. The video is only about like 11 minutes. I'm recording, I'm recording this pretty late on a school night. I don't even know why. But I've been really busy lately and just haven't had any time to record. I did Android 19 yesterday and I felt like I should get someone else in. At least one more person. And yeah, here's Jiro. He's got the. Uh, what do you call it? His key charge attack is the one where he shoots two homing balls and. He's got an eye beam, which, as I've stated, I wow, that did a lot of damage. As I stated, I do not like eye beams at all. And yeah, that was Yamcha, but what do you expect from Yamcha? I will crush your body instantly! I'll fight you as hard as I can! Okay, this one is a little bit harder because it's Kid Gohan. Uh, quite a bit stronger than Yamcha, I would say, but, uh... Well, no, Yamcha would be stronger by then. Not, not the point. Yeah, Jiro's even more boring than 19, I would say. He doesn't really have anything going for him. He looks better for sure and sounds a lot less creepier, but as a fighter, I'd probably go with 19. Then again, Jiro isn't that bad. I don't know, this is a tough choice. And he has a pretty good ground throw. Though him and 19 are pretty Well, no, they're not similar either, because one's a heavy character, one's a light character. I don't even know. Gotta love that, uh, that ground throw. Or ground attack is not really throw. He does have a cool full power energy wave though, because the way he charges it looks pretty unique, I guess. Tien. Come here, Tien. Yeah, uh, Jiro can charge Ki, but he can also absorb it. So, yeah, I kind of like that type of android better. Easier to play with, and it's pretty useful absorbing Ki attacks. So that would actually make Jiro in 19 pretty useful. And they can absorb health, I think. With their ultimates? Don't quote me on that. Or maybe it's the close range grab, I'm not sure. Either way, either or. Wow! <laughs> he hit me in the back right as I stood up. You know what, Tien? I will show you a little hospitality right here. There we go. Drain life 20. Mm. Give me them nom noms. And then I just completely annihilate his body. Sounds good to me. He actually doesn't look that hurt at all. What the heck? Alright, there's Krillin. I guess this battle's like supposed to symbolize when Jiro chases down all the Z fighters in the canyon. Yeah, this must be it. And he takes everyone out, so I'm gonna guess the last one's Piccolo by that logic. If I'm right, you all owe me a cookie. You know what? If you're gonna charge in my face, I'm gonna shoot a beam at yours. You gotta love those snap attacks. Really add a nice little sense of speed. That didn't make much sense, but in my mind it did. <laughs> and that's all that matters to me. Alright. Whoa! What just happened? I guess my signature move didn't work for whatever reason. How do you... 
How do you do a cinematic combo with Dr. Jiro? I don't really remember. Let's see if I can figure it out. Nom 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 nom. The good thing about his little grapple throw thing is that it kicks him in a spot where you can't hit him with full power energy wave. It'd be better if he had a volley though. That'd probably hit better. Oh, and I guess we don't have to fight big wave. Mm, that's better. I'll absorb your energy again. Just kidding, we have to fight Piccolo here. I'm I'm afraid this recording is gonna come out bad because I talk pretty quietly. Because people are sleeping and it's late and whatnot, but I just felt like getting it done. And I guess that's one use for the I beams, but you can only use it when they're right in front of you, so might as well use any other given super. <laughs> Hey! Well, nice miss with the paralyzed beam there, big green. Wow! I didn't. I shouldn't even have do done the dodge roll thing. That's what it's called. Oh, there we go. That's a nice use of the eye beam. That's that's what happens when you press buttons when you're flying away and you roll on the ground. That's called a dodge roll. Don't think I brought that up yet. And here's Super Vegeta. Oh. Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta actually. Oh, ooh. Trying to hit Wow! I are dumb. <laughs> I just barta kicked him out of the dash. And then false Oh, I do have false courage. Pesky fly. Okay, I did not finish that for whatever reason. Let's try it again. Pesky fly. Alright, just a basic combo. I don't remember him ever doing that, but whatever. I don't remember much of Dr. Juro at all, actually. It is kind of disturbing, though. As a character, he turned himself into a machine. It's only cool when Frankie from One Piece does that. I'm just, wow! Vegeta's got the move, super rising and canceling to a super. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> little axe kick to the head to finish him off. You're gonna be sorry you ever made me, old man. If you won't obey me, then I'll have to destroy you. Alright, who do we have here? Android 17? Yeah, that makes sense. I was actually expecting Super Saiyan 3 Goku for whatever reason. Because he does hate Goku. But Android 17 is the one that kills him, along with 18. 
And I'm getting their names right, guys. I'm learning. This is a Raging Soul mission, so it's not even a challenge, really. Wow, okay. I just stopped right in front of him like, like a doofus, and now he's punching me and kicking me and sweeping me and punching my old man back as I fall to the ground. Well, I'll punch his little kid spine as a retaliate. Ooh, barely got it. Nice. That is the price of your defiance, fool. 